Wearing her gorgeous wedding gown, Helen jumped in the back of the ambulance and slid in beside her new hubby lying helplessly on the stretcher. Exiting their wedding under lights and sirens wasn't exactly what they had planned, nor was spending their first night as a married couple in hospital. But some questionable dance moves left this Aussie groom with a dislocated elbow causing the newlyweds to cut their reception short. For more real-life related news and videos check out Real Life Watch the video above, Aussie groom dislocates his elbow on the dance floor six months on in a loved-up couple, Helen and Adam, can finally chuckle at their big day, claiming it is certainly a story to remember. In sickness and in health, Helen tells Seven Life jokingly. The big day because of COVID-19 restrictions, Helen and Adam had to reschedule their wedding day four times. It ended up being a Sunday which we didn't love because everyone had to work the next day, Helen explains. But as the day crept closer, the bride-to-be started to get excited about being able to finally tie the knot. Meanwhile, Adam started joking about singing to her on their big day. He thought it would be funny to serenade me on the night by singing Parkway Drive, Helen says, describing the Australian metalcore band wasn't exactly her dream wedding song. Putting Adam's joke aside, Helen focused on the next issue that arose. Her dream dress was also caught up in the pandemic delays. Three days before the wedding I had no dress, Helen says. I finally found another one and I tried it on for the first time the night before and it was too short. Alongside this, Helen also had a horrible hair dye incident which left orange splotches throughout her blonde tresses. However, the bride praised her hairdresser on the day for hiding the bad dye job under a stunning sleek low bun. Pushing each hurdle aside, Helen slipped into her dress and walked down the aisle to meet her groom. And without a hiccup, the pair said their eye surrounded by close family and friends. Afterward, they slipped out to take stunning seaside photos before making their way to the reception to dance the night away. The dance floor and after the formalities, the dance floor was open to all. With drinks in hand, guests alongside the newlyweds rose out of their seats and danced to their favorite tunes. Champagne, soft drink and beer bounced out of their glasses and splattered on the floor as everyone continued to have a good time. That's when Adam grabbed the microphone and sat his new bride in a chair center stage. He said, Helen this one is for you, the bride explains. I was like, oh my god no I knew exactly what he was going to do. I was mortified. Quickly, Helen darted off the dance floor as Adam's friends raced to the groom's side. The music quickly switched to a Parkway Drive song as the men began jumping around. Guests started pulling out the phones filming the dance moves as laughter erupted around the room. The videographer, Tom from Velvet Waddle, circled the dancing crowd and began capturing the unique moment. Then all of a sudden, Adam's foot slipped on the alcohol-doused floor. Extending his arm to catch his fall, the crowd heard an almighty crack as Adam's elbow buckled underneath him. As guests gasped and raced to his aid, Adam held his arm in pain and headed off the floor. Meanwhile, an unsuspecting Helen was hiding at the back of the reception unaware of her new husband's injury. He came out to me and he was as white as a ghost, Helen recalls. He told me that he thought he had broken his arm. With a few nurses in the crowd, they raced to check on Adam but suggested calling an ambulance. As the guests partied on, Adam was loaded onto the stretcher and into the ambulance with Helen by his side. It turned out he had dislocated his elbow, Helen says. We basically just snuck out the back door of the reception. Given pain medication by paramedics, once at hospital, Adam was knocked unconscious as medical staff popped his elbow back to place. With his arm in a sling, Adam was hooked up to various machines as he continued to sleep off his wedding night injury. Hiking up her wedding gown, Helen sat beside an unsuspecting Adam in his hospital bed and captured one of the more memorable photos of the night. In sickness and in health, Helen laughed at spending a few hours at his bedside, eventually Helen made her way home alone as Adam slept off his injury in hospital. It's been a few months since the big day and Adam has thankfully made a full recovery. It's pretty embarrassing and I get a little triggered looking at the photos and watching the video, Helen laughs. And although the newlyweds didn't plan on leaving the reception via ambulance, Helen confesses it all worked out in the end.
We also had a water taxi booked to leave the venue and the taxi company had to cancel on the morning as the swell was forecast to be too dangerous but it worked out as we exited on the ambulance anyway, she says. Laughing through their string of bad luck, the happy couple is excited to spend the rest of their lives together. They are planning a belated honeymoon and Helen is crossing her fingers her injury-prone hubby doesn't end up in the ER again. For more engaging lifestyle content, visit 7Life on Facebook.